Question number three. This question is about qualitative analysis. You have to look at tables for tests for cations, anions, gases and flame tests. And these are provided to you at the end of this paper. Let's have a look. Here it is. Uh, this is a table tests for anions. Then you have tests for aqueous cations and tests for gases and also the flame tests for metal ions. So everything that you need to solve this question number three is given in the table. All you need to do is to pick up the right test and then you have to respond accordingly. Okay, now back to the question. A student tests two solutions, solution C and solution D. Tests on solution C. Solution C is aqueous calcium nitrate means we have calcium ions and nitrate ions in this solution. Student divide solution C into three portions. Student carries out a flame test on the first portion of solution C as the positive ion present in this solution is calcium ion and the color for flame in this case is orange red color. You may look at the table. B part to second portion of solution C student adds aqueous sodium hydroxide dropwise until it is in excess. When aqueous sodium hydroxide is added to a solution that contains calcium ion, it gives white precipitate, one mark for this. And when you keep on adding sodium hydroxide in excess, the precipitate does not dissolve, it remains insoluble. Part C, to the product from B, the student adds a piece of aluminum foil and warms the mixture gently. This is test for nitrate ion where aluminum foil is used and then we warm the mixture. Uh, look at the solution. We have nitrate ion in this solution. So it will be positive test for nitrate ion. And what happens in this test? Ammonia gas is produced. Uh, what should be the observation for gas when it is tested? Ammonia is basic gas. It turns damp red litmus paper blue. D part to the third portion of solution, student adds about one centimeter depth of dilute nitric acid followed by a few drops of aqueous silver nitrate. This is test used to detect halide ions, either chloride, bromide or iodide. And we know in the solution that we are testing, there is no halide ion. So the observation here is no change. Next, there are tests on solution D. Uh, the following table shows the tests and students observations for solution D. The student divides the solution D into four portions. Test one, use a glass rod to transfer one drop of first portion of solution D onto a piece of universal indicator paper. The universal indicator paper turns red. It shows this solution is acidic and it has hydrogen ions present in this. Test two, to the second portion of solution D, add solid sodium carbonate Test any gas produced. The solid sodium carbonate disappears and there is effervescence. The gas turns lime water milky. This is observation for test for carbon dioxide gas. And this test again is confirming the presence of an acid because when acid reacts with carbonate, carbon dioxide gas is produced. And when this carbon dioxide gas is tested using lime water, it turns lime water milky. Test 3. To third portion, add about one depth of nitric acid followed by drops of aqueous silver nitrate. This is the test for halide ion. Observation is no change. It means there is no halide ion including chloride, bromide or iodide. The next test is to the fourth portion of solution T. Add about one centimeter depth of dilute nitric acid followed by a few drops of aqueous barium nitrate. This is a test used to detect the presence of sulfate ion. And the positive result for this test is white precipitate that are produced here. It indicates the ion other than hydrogen ion present in the solution is sulfate ion. And we may conclude that the solution D is of sulfuric acid because hydrogen ion and sulfate ions are there. Deduce the pH of solution D as sulfuric acid is a strong acid, 
so pH should be around 1 or 2. F part identify the gas made when sodium carbonate is added to solution T. We have already discussed that the gas is carbon dioxide because it is turning lime water milky. Last part of this question, identify the two ions. We have already identified one of the ions is hydrogen ion and other is sulfate ion. 